And no rest right now for stud like Julio Rodriguez. He's the AL Rookie of the Month in May. First and foremost, Julio, how much sleep did you get? That's pretty early, Friday morning, huh? Uh, not a lot, not a whole lot, boy. We're ready to go today. Uh, and you're rolling right now. You've been ready to go all month. These numbers, 309 batting average, six home runs, 17 RBI, and five stolen bases. April was tough for you. It was tough for a bunch of rookies. What turned it around for you to allow you to have such a great month of May? Uh, I just kind of like started learning and just keep being who I am. Just kind of like stick to what I know how to do and just stick to my plans and commit to it. I feel like that's what was the biggest key for me in this month. Yeah, you were caught looking at called third strikes 10 times in the club's first 18 games of the regular season. But I love the fact you didn't change your approach. You you know the strike zone so well and are so disciplined. It's almost like pitchers realize you're not going to chase those pitches, right? Yeah, they, and that's kind of like what they're trying to do. You know, they always trying to get you on the weak contact, trying to get you to chase. So I kind of just commit to who I am, kind of just play my strength more than anything else. And I feel like that's why I was able to perform better this month. It's amazing. When you look at our statistics through 50 games, you look at other great stars when it comes to great young players for the Seattle Mariners, namely Ken Griffey Jr. and Alex Rodriguez. How cool is it to know you're putting up numbers comparable to those two studs? Uh, it's amazing, you know, Alex Rodriguez was somebody that I really look up to and Ken Griffey Jr. one of the best players to ever play this game. It just it feels really, really, really surreal to be in the same conversation as those guys. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, by the way, you currently have 15 stolen bases, which in today's game, it's so rare to see a guy with that kind of speed and your power. Who was your favorite base dealer growing up? Uh, man, I really like Jose Reyes, honestly. Jose Reyes stealing bases, I really like him. Yeah, well, it's fun to see that you're playing that with that. That was pretty customer. good. I was going to say, it is speed something you take special pride in because, like I said, it's not something you see as much in the game. Yeah, it's something I really take a lot of pride because uh, a lot of people kind of count that out as, as my tools. I, and I was kind of like kept believing in myself on that and kind of like worry hard towards it. And like now that it's playing out, a lot of people are getting to see that. It just it feels, it feels really refreshing that a lot of work that I put in the offseason is, is paying off right now. You can definitely fly. You also got plenty of bling. You got an insane diamond necklace, the J Rod Show. Can I see this? I mean, do you wear it out of the house? Let's see, let's see this. Uh, no, I got I got a different one right now, but oh. this one is, it has like a 44 on it, so. That's still pretty awesome. That's what, I just had to like tuck it in. Yeah. Thank do, you. Do you wear it during the game or is it just for show before and after? Uh, no, just, just probably just a chain on. I take this piece off. Yeah, that makes sense. I might sense. wear on the game though. I don't know yet. That, yeah, there's the, I mean, how, tell me more about the J-Rod show. I mean, that is, that is flashy. Uh, I got, I, I got that one too. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's <laughs> some of the things I like to do off the field, you know. Uh, you should you should be rewarded right now. Also, some fun. The Mariners are playing the Boston Red Sox, and you signed the in part of uh, inside, I should say, of the Green Monster, but you wrote 4-19-22 rather than five for May. Did your teammates give you any grief about that? I mean, you know, whenever you play baseball the, in, during the season, you kind of forget the days and the days, and you kind of just playing day by day. Uh, I kind of just, I miss it. At the other day, I signed the monster, though, so that's, that was kind of pretty cool. That's good for that's you. That's all I get to say. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got the day right, you got the year right, so you're fine. Most, by the way, your workout yeah. partner, Jordan Alvarez, got paid today. Six years, $115 million. Did you have a chance to congratulate him? I haven't talked to him, but definitely looking forward to talking to him. I really feel really happy for him. Really humble guy. His family really humble, too. I met his dad back in the DR whenever we weren't even signed, and I feel really, really happy for him. I'm looking forward to talking to him and congratulate him. Well, I'm going to see him in this next series, too, so I'm looking forward for that. Yeah, it'll be great. Hopefully, you guys get to catch up a little bit. Again, I'm just so impressed not only by your game, but also your physique, because I'm just so envious. We have a guy here, Scott Braun, who's also in incredible shape. He's got a six-pack, which rivals yours. So. If you don't mind, I mean, who do you think looks better, you or him? Uh, I like my chances on that. <laughs> I like my chances on that debate right there. Yeah. That'll, that'll get you. I don't know. Uh, you, listen, you guys both look great, but you look fantastic. Listen, we are a show about food, and I love the fact your glove is inscribed with the word stay hungry. Where does that motto come from? I just kind of like uh something that I, I really live by it's kind of like you stay hungry every time no matter how high you reach there is always a higher level to reach so uh that's kind of like what i what it means to me that there is always a higher higher level that you can reach to that I never settle on it all right well let's uh, keep the stay hungry theme going do a little rapid fire we're going to talk about food now you are originally from the dominican republic so what is your favorite dr dish 
Man, there is a lot of them. There is a lot of them. I cannot pick one. And that's a question that I can literally not pick one. Especially whenever my mom is cooking, she can make everything good for me. So there is a lot of many choices over there. I'll oh, give you the top two then. What are the top two things that mom makes? Uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the one that we call the Dominican flag. Oh, the flag basically. It's like uh, white rice, uh, red beans, stewed chicken. Uh, Fry plantains with lemonade. That's how my how my mom makes it. Oh. Really good, really good. Oh. And I like I like this this dish also called moro. It's like rice made with peas together, and she makes it really good too. She makes oh. it really really good. You so. have me at those fried plantains. How about what, what's the <laughs> yeah. favorite meal that you've eaten in Seattle? Ah man, I really don't know which one's my favorite. Maybe some good sushi. I don't know. Uh, I, I had a, I had a really bad experience one time with sushi, so I gotta I gotta give her another chance. But yeah. I had a really bad experience one time with sushi, but I'm gonna yeah. give her another chance in Seattle. I hear it's really good over there. So. I, I hear it's good in Seattle, but I'm with you. I'm not big on raw fish either. I'm out on sushi. All right, what's the last <laughs> thing that you cooked? <laughs> the last thing that I cooked, uh, it was actually rice and chicken. I did. Yeah. Rice and chicken was the last the last thing I cooked. I, I couldn't make the, the the red beans like my mom did it, but we're getting there. Yeah, I love red beans and rice, but you're right. Listen, chicken and rice, you get your protein, you're ready to go. Um, do you have a guilty food pleasure? Chick-fil-A, man. Chick-fil-A, wow. Okay, that's a surprise. Spicy chicken. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is just my, my guilty. My guilt to food plush. Dude, you, you look so good. You could have a little Chick-fil-A. You're fine. <laughs> and, and lastly, uh, have you tried the T-Mobile delicacy of toasted grasshoppers? I haven't yet. I got to try that. I haven't. But would you do it? I don't know. Yeah. What about a... I got, we gotta, we gotta see. I gotta see. But well, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> kind of like that sushi. You gotta make sure you're in the right mood. Otherwise, it's not gonna go <laughs> tell well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful with that. Julio Rodriguez, listen, man, you're having an unbelievable start right now. The Mariners and an incredible month. I hope you keep it going in June. Great to chat with you. Great to talk to you. Hopefully, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you so much.